Wow! Here are our military's newest and planned vehicles. We recently reported on our military's new weapon systems. So let's look at our military's newest and upcoming vehicles. Planes and Helicopters Vertical Takeoff Drone There are two types of unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV, or drone at the moment, the Arcturus T-20 and T-16 have vertical lift motors and rotors of a quadcopter. And the Martin UAV takes off vertically like a Harrier jet. EA-18G Growler Electronic Attack Aircraft a variant of the FA-18F Super Horn, this is an airborne electronic attack, AEA, jet that provides tactical jamming and electronic protection to U.S. military forces and allies around the world. Army Dual Rotor Drone for Casualty Evacuation The DP-14 Hawk drone resembles a miniature CH-47 Chinook helicopter and can carry 430 pounds in its 6 foot by 20 inch cargo space for about 2.4 hours. Tactically Exploited Reconnaissance Node, TRN A prototype of the turn is due by November, 2017, and will be able to operate from small forward deployed ships and is expected to combine vertical takeoff and landing with the ability to fly long distances like fixed wing doves. Bell Helicopter V280 Valor This is a tilt rotor vertical takeoff and landing, VTOL, craft. It is the first new American tilt rotor since the MV-22 Osprey and a candidate to replace the UH-60 Black Hawk helicopter. Army's Hoverbike Prototype The Hoverbike is basically a resupply drone that looks similar to that flown in George Lucas' movie, Return of the Jedi. Ground Vehicles Silent Utility Rover Universal Superstructure, Cirrus This new multi-purpose truck has a hydrogen fuel cell-powered chassis that executives say can allow the U.S. military to move equipment and supplies around the battlefield more efficiently and safely and it will be flexible enough to be driven by remote control, human, or become an autonomous driving vehicle, adverb, or drone. LAV-25 Light Armored Vehicle This innovative multi-purpose vehicle is designed to be used by the U.S. Marine Corps. It will operate with six different mission roles, anti-tank, command and control, mortar, recovery, logistics, and electronic warfare. Ships U.S. Navy's Sea Hunter drone. This unique vessel is a 40-meter trimaran designed to conduct anti-submarine warfare. Although its capability is not fully released, it is said to be capable of patrols of up to 70 days at a bewildering distance of 10,000 nautical miles. Combatant Craft Assault Boat. This vessel is a Stealthy multi-role watercraft designed to replace U.S. Special Operations Command's smaller MKV Special Operations craft and Naval Special Warfare rigid inflatable boats for inserting and extracting soft and low to medium threat environment. Virginia Class Attack Submarine This class of submarines has replaced the decommissioned Los Angeles class submarines. It is planned to be built through 2043 and expected to remain in service past 2060. Based on recent updates to the designs, some of the Virginia-class submarines are expected to still be in service in 2070. So there you have it. It's kind of exciting, isn't it, isn't it?